Jamaica. Heat one, and the first qualifies. Away they go, and it looks like it's the Japanese with Kimura who've made the best start. This is the first leg, remember. Amoy Brown coming on a little stronger now. And Brianna being in third place for Australia. So stand by for the first change. Let's watch how this goes, and away they go with Takayama of Japan. It's the home nation who are in front at the moment. But there is Andrew Riley bringing his experience, clattering the odd hurdle. Two in a row, he's hit there. So it's Japan at the moment. As here we go to leg three. Aoki for Japan, but look at the Jamaicans with Megan Tapper. This is really strong. They've taken control of this race in this shuttle hurdles relay. And now the Jamaicans will go for one last leg. Ronald Levy, the Commonwealth champion, the home straight in front of the fans, really hits that hurdle. Japan and Australia battling it out for second and third. The first finisher will be the automatic qualifier. It's an easy win for Jamaica. He got away well. Nelvis has made a good start on the left of the screen in blue for the United States. China and Papua New Guinea at the moment. Third and fourth with the French. And Alessandrini passing on to Belosian, but uh, already crittenden has got a big lead for the US. And this is pretty clean hurdling at the moment as well. What's Crittenden gliding over them? And it's a big lead for the US from France. China third, and Papua New Guinea well out of it. Now here comes Queen Harrison. Harrison is uh, underway on the third leg, as we see uh, the end there of Crittenden's run. And the US continuing to hold a big lead. Fontenot, well, he's absolutely clattered his first hurdle, but look at the lead he's got over China, who are way back in second. So the US are dominant in this one. The French have made up ground on China. It's going to be the US. Lagarde comes in second for France. China